a warrior named Rambo. When we first met Lisa Phillips and Rambo back in 2012, they were on a mission to help improve the lives of military working dogs. Three years later, and a lot has changed. His left front leg had to be amputated because of his shoulder injury that he sustained while on active duty. Whoop! Come on. Since then, we've gone on to speak at a few press conferences about the Canine Members of the Armed Forces Act. What a good boy. Rambo puts a face on, on these dogs. They can see Rambo, they can feel him, they can see his injury, and they can get slobbery kisses from him. <laughs> Thanks to Rambo's slobbery lobbying, Congress listened, passing the Canine Members of the Armed Forces Act in 2013 and fully implementing it earlier this year. Now they are no longer considered a piece of equipment, which is fabulous. They will get medical benefits provided by a nonprofit. They will also get an award for their service. Now Rambo is up for the 2015 American Humane Association Hero Dog Award. And if he wins, he'll help other vets find a Rambo of their own. We'll win them $5,000 to go on and provide service dogs for our nation's veterans, human veterans. <laughs> that is our mission. We want to be able to help not only our working dogs, but our human veterans as well. Aw, oh, hey buddy. <laughs> If you want to help Rambo and Lisa help other veterans by winning the 2015 Hero Dog Award, you can find out more by following me on Twitter or at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. From Universal City Park, with a three-legged lobbyist hero dog, JT Street, Fox News at 9.